All right, as you can see, this will be a quick review on uh, the Axel F, the fourth Beverly Hills Cop movie. Uh, Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2 are my favorite in the series. The third one, not so much. Um, I was so disappointed in seeing that one in the theater, from what I remember. I have not gone back to revisit it, um, mainly because it was such a disappointment for me. Um, so I was having high hopes for Axel F, the fourth film in the fr in this franchise, I guess now. Um, there were rumors back when of a Beverly Hills Cop show, which never came to fruition. Um, I don't know if it would have been successful or not. I'm not going to speculate on it. It would have been, uh, Axel F's, um, son, uh, from what I understand. But anyway, um, having, um, basically most of the original cast back was really good. Uh, Taggart and Rosewood, of course, you know, they're the staple of the, of the trio, including uh, Eddie Murphy's Axel Foley character. Um, it's too bad that they didn't uh, have all three of them um, as kind of a main focus that would have made things a little better. But um, there's enough of the three of them, uh, Taggart and Rosewood. Not Rosewood, maybe not so much, but Taggart is, is in there a little bit more. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you also have another returning character. Um, I believe the actor's name is... Uh, he's from the Mad About You show. He uh, played um, Axel Foley's kind of cop friend in the first two films. He was kind of more of a cameo type character. Um, he is now chief in this film. So it was nice having him back there. Um, who else? Uh, Serge returns the side character. Um, yeah, he's, he's humorous there. There's this whole sequence where they kind of um, go into this one house and yada, yada, yada. So it's good to have returning characters there. The humor lands for the most part. Um, the action is pretty good when it's there. Now, um, there's a plot point that includes Axel Foley's daughter. Um, she's kind of half and half of a character. Um, I wouldn't say she is the most terrible side character ever. No, I, I, I'm not going that far. Uh, she is basically uh, a tight ass through most of the film. Um, you know, they set up a, a reason why she's like that, I suppose. Um, but she wasn't the best character there. Uh, but like I said, not the worst. Um, so, uh, Kevin Bacon is in this film. Um, and, uh, he's his typical self. Uh, it's nice to see him in here. Uh, you got, uh, Joshua Hewitt, I believe, from, uh, Thor Rock from the Sun fame and, uh, the Dark Knight fame. And he's been in a few other movies. Um, he plays kind of the up and coming rookie. So it's nice to see him in there. So the new cast is, is not bad for the most part. Um, I think the problem that... It, it, I like the movie overall. I thought it's really good. Uh, definitely better than the third one. But I think um, the issue is that it, it plays too close to like repeating stuff from the past films. Like they have two big car chases with a truck, you know, and that's going back to the first film. Uh, almost the same repetitive beats from previous films and certain parts. Um, there is a, you know, a new helicopter sequence that's cool. Um, you know, it's uh, probably going to be third on the best list if you were going to go ranking-wise. Uh, with the third film being last and forgotten. Um, but overall, I was I was entertained, and uh, that's all really that I, I expected from this film, and it delivered that. Um, it's funny, it's entertaining, there's um, action bits in it, 
that are good. So yeah, go check it out on it's on Netflix right now. And uh, I, you know, I see a lot of people on YouTube kind of going, ah, it sucks and everything. Well, what are you expecting it to be? Is it going to be as good as the first one? No. Is it going to be as good as the second one? No. Uh, is it going to be better than the third one? Well, matter of opinion, because some people like the third one. Have at it. But um, it, I think it's a good starting point if they're going to do, you know, uh, five or six in this series, uh, which they're hinting at doing another one, which is cool. I'd go watch it. Um, but it, it's definitely um, one of the better films that's come out this year. Uh, <clears throat> sequel sequel wise, I know they're coming out with Gladiator two. I think that's slated for November. I think um, I don't know why they're even bothering with Gladiator two, but I guess you know they've gone for a full circle of uh, you know prequels and all that, and they're coming right back around to other films now, and they're attacking those. So. Hmm. Yeah, not my favorite kind of thing, but whatever. Because um, Gladiator honestly didn't need a sequel. It was beginning, middle, and end. Good, tight-knit story. Russell Crowe was awesome in a one best picture that year. They didn't need a sequel. But apparently, you know, money, Hollywood is doing whatever. And uh, they're not uh, doing anything new-ish. But anyway, that's a whole other topic there. Um Go watch Axel F. It's uh, entertaining. If you like Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2, you'll probably like this one. Uh, you know, you got to go in not expecting it to overtop the first two films in the series. Uh, I think in that mindset, you probably will enjoy it. Um, so there's my review of this film.